Greetings. This is Skeptical Squirrel, and uh, yeah, we are in Haven. This is the new Minecraft in Tuxedo server, which is uh, it's an amplified world. And actually, while this was loading up, I saw spiders over here in DF's tower. If they were, they're gonna die. Unless they were a lot further away. But uh, it definitely looked like there were two spiders in here. And I can hear them. So there's definitely spiders somewhere. I think they're up here. No? Where are they? They must be on the bloody roof of it. They've got s he's got spiders on the roof. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, I'll leave them. Yeah, this is uh, DF's tower that he's made. Which it's... Uh, yeah, I suppose it's sort of like a defence thing for the, um, for the village. But over this way is... Uh, more clay desert and uh <clears throat> this essentially brings you into haven now uh, th there's a problem with this so uh, where it's constantly raining we can't actually stop it raining what the hell it's a huge cobble sort of bridge right there who the hell's done that and why eh other way but uh that is that is Locke's place here and uh, I think he's the only one so far that's um, got a nether portal. Lucky bugger. And uh, this is multiple. This is Fate Towers, which I uh, I trolled him a little bit with. He uh, we've got a thing at the moment where he doesn't like anything being pink. It all started from his live stream of Euro Truck, where he's uh, ended up having to turn his uh, truck hot pink. And now we all just take the mick and uh, just we're turning things pink. Watson's turned his um, Formula One Marussia pink. And uh, if you see, I can't actually take my stuff off, but uh, well, that was news. But I have a pink, a hot pink suit on, which uh, this will be the first time I've seen that. And he'll he'll call me an arse or something. I think. <laughs> Oh, this is uh this is a new bit of creation for him. He's built a uh, a second entrance into it. Why? Eh, dunno. And he's got a bit of purple carpet. Oh you And uh yeah the only I don't know exactly what he's doing with this yet. Cause that's all there is. And he's got a huge load of water going outside. That's his way of getting up and down it. I've no idea what he's doing with that at all. But I'm not gonna bother showing you that much because uh Mod's showing you all in his uh in his first video. Yep, that's obviously the farm, then you've got the animal farms there, the cobblestone generator, the initial farm behind it, forty forty is carrot in the in the uh, cliff. I've not been able to find where Watson's building yet. He has he's not building in Haven, he's built somewhere off in the distance. But uh, I actually add in this wall along here. In fact, there's a block missing. Oh no, that needs to be missing so he can get up to his thing. But uh, it, I'll just heighten the security a little bit around it. So I've got this fence around here. And uh, if we go running off to the other side as well. Let me through. Thank you very much. If we carry on through here, because... I don't know who it was, they put um, the wall all along here. So it's essentially just keeping Haven safe. I think I... No, did I do that? No, I don't think I did. But uh, there was a problem. That um, it wasn't... This corner here wasn't secure at all. I've had to... Uh, in fact, I don't know why this bit's still here. I need to take that out. But uh, mobs were able to come along there, along here, and climb onto DF's roof and come over still. So I rectified that by building this big wall here and there's now a wall going 
all the way down here and around it and also across to the clay there with Mike's house. So I've made it a little bit more secure for the guys. In fact, I'll get these uh, bits back because these are now not needed. Because this was from the original. Oh, bugger. Took clay. Oh well, it's fine. And uh, those bits can go as well. There we go. So that that wall is now actually protecting Haven properly. And yeah, all this around here I add in as well because yeah, if they did spawn just all sort of around here, which they could do, it could happen. Um, they could they can jump over this. They can get over this easily because it's just a one block. So they'd still be able to get in if they spawned around here somewhere. So I've put this wall all the way around, as you can see. All the way around the side of here. This is the bridge that, I don't know who built this, it might be Mike. You see he's got his uh, little garden there. I don't know if that's, if he created that pool here, or if that was um, already there. But yeah, that's Mike's house there. And, oh, Enderman, lovely. And yeah, I put a fence around all around his as well because it uh, wasn't that secure. I mean, there's, there was, it went from here around there, and there's torches around. But I just thought, just want to make sure it's just all fully secure all the way around, which it uh, now is. In fact, should really get another layer there. That's it. And because uh, they could easily jump over this as well, but I'll put this in as well. I'll put the little vent, the little gate, because they could spawn down there and they could have walked straight up here as well. So I've uh, put some walls in, put a fence there as well, a fence gate, just to make it a little bit uh, more secure. But uh, yeah, I'll show you my true house. This is only, it's not a very big one, it's just sort of a very quick rough one because this is this this is haven this is where all of us are making our own little place it's essentially a replacement for little tuxton i think but uh everyone apart from tort tort get your ass in gear get on the server build a little place around here all right you're the only one out of the active tuxedos that isn't on here yet but anyway yes uh Scrolls abode, and don't know if anyone actually noticed this. In fact, let's get rid of those as well. I have a uh, that's kind of an acorn, a very big acorn in my tree. Very roughly made, but uh, don't think anyone's really noticed it. If they have, they've not mentioned it. And that's that's grown there. Get out of the way. But yeah, I've done this recently. Just a bit of a stairway down. But, uh, yes, so you can't see the my leaves because of the clouds. There they are. It is definitely there. <laughs> and uh, this is this is all my home is. Got a, a nice window there so I can see out. A few torches so nothing spawns in there. Bed, a couple of chests, crafting bench, a couple of furnaces. This one is just for general stuff that I find. This is just anything really. And this one, you see, my iron, my gold... Lots of wood, lots of leaves. That is for when we all branch away and... Oops, sorry, I've got hiccups. That's when we branch away and do our own thing. So, uh, as I did on the previous Tuxedo server, I'm making a huge uh, treehouse. But it's got a nice big garden in it as well. I'll mention down there in a minute. But uh, if we jump over it, I've started my own little sort of mine here. Right, through there, that goes all the way back up and uh, that's where I started getting some of my trees from and I started planting a few actually let's go through here see how it's see how my little tree farm's doing there'll probably be mobs at the end of here because I haven't secured this bit yet and I need to make stairs because it's annoying having to jump all the time but uh, yeah time to just grow a tree house and uh, up here when you get through all these uh, clouds this I've planted all these trees around here so it make, makes me think I'm falling because I can't see. Oh, whoa, that was a bit of lag. But uh, yeah, I've planted all these trees. Whoa, that um, mutated a bit, didn't it? <laughs> but I've got a, 
supply of leaves, supply of wood, and uh, once I get more saplings from them, I'll just keep replanting them. But that's going to be useful for when I need my treehouse, because I'll have so much wood already, I won't have to waste time doing that. And uh, yeah, let's go back through here. I said I need to secure this off and uh, make stairs there. If I can make clay stairs, they could just run up in seven to jump up them. So much nicer. But I've sort of secured it away by just putting this door there so nothing can get through it. But uh, if we go down here, this is uh, my little mine, which uh, I secured off after 4040 40 mentioned that there were three creepers down here and they tried to follow him into my house. So uh, thank you 4040 for not letting him into my house and uh, warning me of what's happened. But uh, down here is my mine. I'm not going all the way down, I can't be bothered. But, uh, I haven't done. I'm making stairs all the way down as well. But uh, yeah, that little cave down there, I managed to find a stack and a half of iron. Which, uh, yeah, very pleased with. Which is why I've got two iron swords, got iron pickaxes, and uh, iron armour. And this is the last little bit. From the end of the world party, 4040 jumped in the swimming pool that was on top of Mark's house after it had been blown up and declared a pool party. Now, I've created a public swimming pool. So it's got stairs here, so you don't have to jump out, you can just walk out of it. Yep, scrolls home up there. And this blue stained glass. I've got a lot of lapis lazuli. And, uh,. Thought you know what? I'm eventually gonna just go coat the whole board with this, with uh, blue stained glass. Oh look, there's a zombie out there. Is it on the wall? It's. Well, it's spawned. Is that spawned in? What the hell? That's spawned in my. Air oh, you little. In fact, I can't get out to it that way. But yeah, that's a actually solid. He can wait. Yeah, pool party here. Got some sort of seats around the side. And uh pool party emergency supplies of forty forty. Can you guess what this is? Can you guess what the emergency supplies forty forty has given? Carrots. Lots and lots of carrots. Yes, forty forty is the uh the carrot guy. So uh yeah, he's just uh Given us a load of emergency supply carrots. It's not really an emergency supply, it's just because he wanted to. But, uh, zombie down here? Where? Where is it? Oh, okay, he's not there. Oh, was he the other side of this? He was on here, I think. Ah, right, okay. But there's a wall there? He can't. Um, hmm, okay. Let's just, uh... There we go. Just another layer of it there. And I think I just lost that torch as well, but... That's fine. In fact, let's put uh, another layer on top. Just because we can. You know, it goes into the stained glass there a bit, but it's fine, it's not much of an eyesore. Torch. 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 There we go. That's a bit more secure now. So, I've got torch around. Should, nothing should spawn around here, in theory. In fact, put on there as well, just in case. But, uh, yeah, that, I thought I'd just give you a quick... Uh, Quick update, quick little tour, see what I've got on here so far. Uh, like I said, I'm starting to get supplies for my uh, for my little tree house. Well, I say little tree house, it's going to be a fucking huge tree house. <laughs> uh, anything else in here that I might use? Uh, probably not. I'll just leave this sand smell so I can get more glass. As you oh, wrong thing, as you saw there, 59 lapis lazuli like there. I think that's some left over as well. There's another 64 there, so I can make tons of blue stained glass. I think I've got other colours in there as well, haven't I? I've got yellow in there. I've got, gr I, ha I did have green, 
but green is uh, below here. You see a slight different coloration there, blue, green, and then blue again in the middle. I thought I'd just make it look a little bit more snazzy, other than looking down and just seeing, oh look, it's more wood. Give it a bit of a glass, glass um, floor. And, oh yeah, a bit on the ceiling there, but uh, that's not important at all. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it here for this one, partly because my throat is starting to hurt. And uh, probably because I'll bring you in again at a later date where I will probably just be mining a bit. But yes, lads is down to the pool party. And on this side I put uh, lads is down to pool party. Other side. <laughs> uh, didn't you know. A few signs here from Watson. The treehouse on the... Oh, this wasn't Watson, it was 4040. The treehouse on the right is causing mob mobs to spawn and then drop down onto, any onto the areas I'm trying to make mob proof. So we don't die when using the cobble generator. So it was 4040 that put this fence around in the first place, I think. Just to secure it off because there was no torches or anything around my treehouse. And mobs were spawning all over it and coming in and blowing big holes in the floor. Like that. That was a creeper. That came from my treehouse. Whoops. Sorry, guys. And uh, I just added on public swimming pool by my treehouse squirrel and yeah just showed you it that is my treehouse huh. oh yeah just see over there that dirt path there that was me I went exploring off this side uh, and when I was coming back I found myself on that side with nowhere getting back I had loads of loads of uh, dirt so I had to build across just to get back <laughs> yes uh, Thank you very much for watching. I have been Scott Scroll. Please do a like and subscribe. And oops. And I shall see you next time. Bye bye.